Hi, this is Scott. Welcome back to another Hollinger Team video blog. Um, this one is um, uh, a little bit of reading that I had done, and it kind of followed up, followed with a question that I have sometimes with uh, customers. In the case of like sellers, um, uh, what what are you going to do with the money when you sell your property? Because that's always uh, uh, has some other questions that go along with it, like are there some tax consequences or gifting or you know something like that. But uh, anyhow, I ran across this survey that was done of uh, investors that asked them to rank their selection of what where they would put money for a um, ten years if they had money that they wanted to invest somewhere and hold it for ten years there what they thought the best place was to put their money. And number one, by 31% uh, or 31% of those surveyed said that they would put it in real estate. That was the highest, highest ranking one. It was followed by stocks, um, savings, which would be, I guess, savings account or CD or something like that, followed by gold and precious metals, and then bonds. And uh, then interestingly enough, uh, none was uh, one of the choices or one of the replies, which I don't know if that means a shoebox or stuff it in the mattress or what. And then the last one was uh, Bitcoin, which I thought was also kind of an interesting uh, investment strategy. I guess it is for some, um, but um, that, that made the list, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, but I just thought it was be good to pass on because the, it shows, um, you know, the real strong uh, interest in investing in real estate long term. Um, another thing that I thought about there, too, is that if a seller is uh, thinking of selling and is contemplated uh, maybe owner financing, I think it shows that if they were uh, to be the person providing the owner financing there that it shows that that money basically is invested in that real estate and if it's you know invested long term there the downside or the risk side of it is actually pretty low for for even the person that's providing owner financing so hope you found that interesting i posted the um, the little graph there so you can have a look at it and see where all the percentages were and um uh, if you have any questions on that, that'd be great. Any other questions that you'd like me to answer in the blog, uh, I'd be happy to do some research on that and do a little video for that. Our outro uh, on this video is um, some people having some fun on the north end of Flathead Lake in the winter. Thanks for tuning in to another Hollinger Team video blog.